right, here we are with another Tackle Shop Tour, Fisherman Central here in Ohio. Man, this is a mega store. This is a must-see. Come on in, we gotta get started on this. Here we go, we're on the inside now, and as you can see, this is like a supermarket of bass fishing lures. Now they don't have like a whole section of uh, you know, junk that, you, that bass fishermen that we don't need. This is almost 100% bass lures, amazing. Right here, as soon as you walk in, awesome logo up on the wall, but you got all the different <laughs> swim baits. You got, your, you got your little creepers, you got your jackal swim baits, you got a bunch of hoodies here, you got uh, some S waivers down here more jackals, mag drafts, um, you get more more mega bass, a bunch of dark sleepers, a few spro swim baits, a few duo swim baits down there. I mean, that's just, we're just getting started here. We're just getting started. We're just gonna walk over here to the rods and reels and check these out real quick. You got so many different options. Uh, you look at over here to your left, you got, got some clothing, you got a bunch of Wiley X and Costa sunglasses, all kind of nets, tackle storage, Bench made knives. That's what I got in my pocket. Got me a bench made. But look at yeah. just look at all these rods and re I mean reels right here. This is the reel counter, man. You, I love I love this kind of format right here because you can just walk right up to it, and say you know what, mm, not so sure about that feel. And you come on down the line, you can compare Luz, Abu Garcia, Daiwa, Shimano. I mean they've got it all right here. Come on down here to the goods, down here to the Daiwa. Mm -hmm. On a Fuego, 109 bucks, hard to beat that. Got your zillions, your high dollar stuff, but that's cool. You can you can put those things right in your hands. All the bait casters over there, all the spinning reels over here, they got almost all of them uh, you know, out so you can, you can touch them and feel them. That is super cool. And then we turn around here and look at the rods. I'm just gonna go right for the goods. Okay. Got the caching rods right here, and of course. You know a little something something about that. A little deep cranking, John Cruz Signature Series. Uh, but they got a good selection of, of caching rods. Uh, they got a bunch of G Loomis rods, a whole bunch of those, some Shimano rods. They got a whole big three racks of St. Croix rods over there, three racks of Dobbins rods, three racks, four racks of, of Luz rods, Falcon, got some, uh, got a whole bunch of uh, Mega Bass rods and Dial rods right here. And my boy Ish pointing at me uh, I mean just whatever you need from Daiwa they got that they got some 13 rods uh, a bunch of different different other rods right here Fenwick going old school you can go old school get some Fenwick got a bunch, you know, a bunch of different combos a little something for everybody some I rods and Fitzgerald boy Trevor he's getting showing up up here in Ohio that's pretty cool but man so rods reels they got as you can see, whatever you want. We're gonna to go to this zoom wall. I don't know, I haven't measured it. They may have more footage of zoom than I've ever seen in my life. Starts way back here. Starts way back here. So you can imagine they've got damn near every skew that they can hold in here. And they've got some really unique colors that I've already seen. May or may not have uh, caught a couple of them. But, uh, but as you can see, starting over here with the baby brush hogs and then the, into the brush hogs, uh, just, just all kinds. You got strawberry brush hogs. When can you find those? Pumpkin spice. You know, coming up on October, <laughs> pumpkin spice, I bet your wife will fish. My wife would fish that right there. If she saw pumpkin on the name, she would fish it, I promise you. And then you get into your, of course, into your trick worms. I mean, they've got, they got 20, 30 feet of trick worms. That's it. I mean, everything from your big Texan, uh, red bug shad, dirt, of course, watermelon spice, and then you got your mag trick worms, swamp crawlers. Got a whole bunch of the original swamp crawlers, which uh, it's hard to find different colors in that. They got motor oil. Man, they got some, all kind of stuff in here. Uh, flesh color. I mean, just all kinds of different swamp crawlers. Very cool old monsters. And as you can see, they got zoom on both sides 
through this whole aisle. I mean, this is crazy. You get you're starting with your mag flukes all the way down to your little uh, super fluke juniors, and I like it. it. Very, this is very organized. If you're looking for a fluke or a swim bait, boom, this is the section right here. Uh, it goes through the creatures. Now you're going through all the worms here. Now you're getting into the lizards. Got your four inch lizards, six inch lizards. I mean, a whole bunch of six inch lizards. I guess a bunch of old school folks up around here. You got cotton candy in the four inch. You can't hardly find cotton candy in anything anymore. Great red glitter, colors you just don't see very often. This is this is really cool. Now you're getting into the Ultra Bob Speed Worms, Mag Ultra Bob Speed Worms double ringers all kind of stuff and of course finesse mag, mag finesse and finesse worms all up over here on my left it's like a tidal wave of them right here now that is some serious serious stock of zoom and all the way down to little dead ringers and then uh, got a few uh, live target swim baits over here and then as we're swinging around you can see they've got a whole bunch of different uh, outerwear for you know your stormer your gill a few good brands on that frog tog back there, AFCO, a bunch of AFCO clothing. Got your gloves, whatever us bass fishermen need out there. And as you're around the corner, you can see the hot stuff is right over here. We've got missile baits. Quite, I mean, that is quite the, the spread of missile baits right there. And I can immediately see uh, they've, they've already got a stock of the tail colors in the Ned Bomb. They got that GP blue flash tail. I mean, Hello, sweet darling, Brim. Look out, boys and girls. They've also got baby bass tail. They got that black tail on that that green pumpkin, gold black. Oh my gosh! Just they they got all they got all of our missile stuff here. Uh, they've even got the 25 count bags of the D bombs. They've even got the new ballistic bruiser. You want a little black and blue with some more flash in it? They got that ballistic bruiser right there. So so they have got. This is Missile Headquarters, numero uno for sure. They've got a hell of a selection of, of culprit right here. I mean, a bunch, even all this Incredicrawl, the, the newer stuff, they've got all that. They've got a skinny jerk. I mean, and then of course they've got all the, their ribbon tail worms, which is what they're known for. And then over here on this side, you got, looks like damn near everything that, that Reaction Innovation ma makes uh, from the man bear pig, one of their newer baits, the, the torque, the jig trailer, pocket rocket, skinny dippers, both sizes, flirt worm, and then of course they got a whole ton of beavers in both sizes right there. So uh, anything you're looking for from Reaction, they probably got it here. And then all your it's more zoom actually, you get all your jig chunks right here. So um, they're not over there on the other side. They're over here on this side. We've got all your jig chunks, your little cross to put on a jig, your little Z cross put on a jig, ultra vibe speed crawl. Also want a jig, you can do that with, or you can Texas rig it, horny toads. Man, I mean, that is a lot of zoom right there. And then got a good selection of Z-Man over here. Everything from your trick shots and some of the uh, some of their other baits, Hulu sticks, and then uh, the TRD Crawl Z. That's a new bait, it's supposed to be pretty hot. Little deal to put on your, uh, put on your, your Ned rigs. And then you got a whole section. They just didn't, they didn't mess around, they went, went ahead and put the finesse TRDs on, on the end cap, just put them all on there. And then you got your TRD uh, ticklers. You got your, uh, that's a newer one. And then the the, uh, the little bug is also brand new. They got all the new stuff on the end. So you don't have to, don't have to hunt around for that. And then you come in here and then you go yum all the way down this aisle. I mean, everything from the four inch dingers, five inch dingers, uh, all the way up to, to every, everything else in the zoom line. And then you turn over here and it's a tidal wave of green. Yep, that's Gary Yamamoto right here. All the way, they got the three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, and seven inch Senkos. They got all of the Senkos. And I mean, they got four inch all the way to here, three, four. And then from here, that's all five inch Senkos, all the different colors that they make. I don't know how many that is, but that's a whole bunch of them. If you can't find the color you're looking for, they probably don't make it. And they got a good selection of six inch Cinco's. Man, they got a bunch of colors of the six inch and they got, they got some seven inch Cinco's and then they get into the other Yamamoto baits like the, the Swim Cinco, the Cocktail Worm, you got your Double Tail Grub, the D Shad, uh, that's gaining some popularity. And then some of their newer, newer flipping baits, um, 
Shad Shape Worm, I saw that one in there as well. And then, so you're getting over here to your Christy Critter, get down here. It's your old flipping bait, Jason Christy. I promise you, he knows how to flip it. And then, uh, and then you come down here, you get the heart tail uh, deal, and then they, you got that deal. Yamamoto made some baits for Daiwa, and they got that, that fat Cinco, um, four inch and five inch. And then you got your, your optimum, your baby boom boom, your boom boom, your rig, rig boom boom swim baits. Man, these things go absolutely nuts in the water. Have a hell of a kick on them. I did a little tackle shop, uh, or actually a tackle test on that swim bait right there. If you want to see that, check out that other video. But man, they just all kind of different stuff. I mean, uh, this is a, really a California deal right here, uh, but they brought it in here, Pro's Choice. Uh, I got some more Scottsboro Tackle. Swim baits, those look like they've been beat up pretty hard. And then I uh, got some of these little, little Joshi swim baits. Look at those little rascals. That is just cute as a button. Oh my goodness. Oh my, this is the nursery of swim baits right here. I think of course you gotta have some magic shads to throw on your, your chatter chickens. And then I went right past uh, some of the riots um, soft plastics. Uh, they're coming out with a line of soft plastics, trying to make a dent. You got some bio spawn, old school cream worms. You gotta have your rivets, man. You want to throw that top water on the edge of that pond or, or whatnot. And then you got, you got a little line of top toads there as well. Man, we're just gonna keep on trucking because there is a lot of stuff in here. You got some storm swim baits over here. You got a whole bunch of selection. I mean, from the newer rig stuff, the 360 to the conventional uh, wild eye, and then of course a big selection of big bite baits they've got some really cool new swim baits you're gonna have to check out uh, those are all right there and then uh, they got some molex soft plastics over here all kind of different uh swim baits here some some other type of stuff and then they got a good selection of venom tubes now venom tubes are huge up north uh, a lot of the guys that are that are from from up in the great lakes area they fish a lot of these venom tubes and they are huge on color because they small, those smallmouth, they're picky, man. Those sons of guns, sometimes they'll want the the old, you know, bright color if they're, they're sitting on sand or something like that, or if they're sitting more on rock, they may want that darker color. So smallmouth are tricky, and some dudes up north, they, they know what they're doing on this, with those venom uh, tubes. And then, of course, you got more of the big bite baits over here. You got some of the newer stuff. They got some of that limit maker right there. Uh, you got the war mouth there squirrel tail worm fighting frogs all your REO stuff there they got a few other soft plastics in the venom lineup over here everything you know i mean they got some old school ringworms that brown and orange that's an ohio river special right there i don't tell anybody up around this part uh i got the noisy flapper and the crazy flapper uh from kai tech this is a whole from here on it's all kai tech right there man uh some of the other baits that kai tech's really not known for is this uh, salty core sexy impact um, interesting, uh, neat little baits. And then they got all kind of easy shiners right here. Everything from your two inch up to your five inch and then your swing impacts. And then the fat, fat swing impacts. Uh, they get the big boys right here, the 6.8, 7.8. You got them. And this thing is dangerous right here. You could throw that and hit somebody and knock them flat out right there. The thing is big and heavy. Uh, but they got a ton of colors. It looks like on the end cap, I'll show you some other, other colors they have. And then, oh, I don't want to pass this up right here. They got poor boys baits. Definitely a, a Great Lakes deal up here. All kind of the different uh, the different little eerie darter. That's what they're known for. The eerie darter. That's a that's Golby. Golby bite. Golby color right there. Interesting. Uh, but that's huge up north as well like the Venom, and then you got a big selection of net bait, all kind of pocket chunks, pocket craws, of course you gotta have those. And then, you know, more of this fat swing impacts all the way down to the, to the little 2.8 ones. But then you come out here, and it looks like these could be Japanese colors because I can't read any of that. I type a little bit of Looks like me in first grade, right there, right? Colors I haven't seen before right here. That's what you, that's what you get when you get uh, this kind of space. They get the right the right stuff in here. Coming down the next aisle, look at all that gambler. Boy, I bet you that's almost everything that gambler makes. The little easy obviously is right here, and then uh, the big easy is going to have a huge section as well. A bunch of robo worm right here. I mean, every and everything looks good and new. And that's the one thing I look at when I see 
when I see robo worm, if something's been sitting for a couple years on these robo worms, they'll start to turn colors. Not good. All these look almost, these look almost brand new. I mean, some of these, even some of these older packages look real crisp colors. Yep, that's good stuff. Prism, prism shad. I mean, that thing, it's, it's popping right there. That's what you want to see when you when you come to a tackle shop. Make sure that everything everything pops. Got you some Jean Larue right here. You, you'd be remiss without the Biffle Bug. Uh, Tommy, if he was in here, he'd say, "I need from here to here. I need from here to here." Actually, he'd try to claim this whole aisle on both sides. He said, "I need the Biffle Bugs down here and over here and this whole thing here." That's what Tommy would try to do for you. But if they got Tommy represented up in here. It's all good. And they got some some of the Jacob Wheeler's new punch out baits. And then you got some some local baits right here. Urbanator. Looks like a little Ned Rig bait. Looks pretty good, actually. Um, all kind of different different baits. Got a big ring bait right here. Got that wacky rig. Throw it on Carolina rig. Get all kind of crazy with it. I like it. It's different. It's new stuff I hadn't seen before. And then you got some Excite soft plastics over here. Um, those are not everywhere. You don't see those everywhere. And then you got some Biwa, some straight from Japan. They got some little little stick baits. They got little teeny craws. Um, they got some swim baits. They got the tail gunner swim bait, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half inch size. Uh, so I also I did a tackle test on that tail gunner in the five and a half inch. Uh, you check that video out as well. Uh, so they got some other smaller swim baits from them. Some lunker hunt, soft plastics, and then you got a bunch of dry creek tubes here. Dry creek. If you can't find it in venom, whatever color you're looking for. Dry Creek probably has it. Dry Creek, they have some absolutely beautiful colors. Now this is the little, the drop shot tube, the little green pumpkin, purple copper flake. That is just a beautiful little pour right there. You just put that little cat on a drop shot. If that's what you're into, if you're really into tubes, you need to check out the Dry Creek tubes because they got, they got everything that you need. And then they've got some rains, soft plastics right here, all kind of different, uh, different stuff. And this is from Japan stuff you don't find everywhere so if you're looking for some different stuff find that right there you get some power team lures here as well and some hog, hog farmer soft plastics and they got it they got it all they got it all we're just going to keep rolling if you need if you need to take a bathroom break got a men and men's and women's right over here you get take your break take your bathroom break and then this aisle right here is almost 100 percent berkeley you got a little mega bass here at the end uh some spark sheds and some of that stuff right there, kind of stuff on the end. But you got your gulp section over here, little gulp section. The gulp section seems to be shrinking, but the, the, the max base and max scent seems to be growing. Uh, and then you got a bunch of power bait right here, everything from your chigger crawls uh, all the way from your uh, fatty bottom hopper. I mean, just basically, it looks like almost everything that that they have in the power bait lineup you can find right over here. A bunch of different colored general worms that I've never seen. Got all kind of swim baits on this side, um, lizards. When you're in this aisle, you can smell that it is the power bait aisle. Definitely smell. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I don't want to smell like power bait the rest of the day. And then you're getting into the max scent. This is, uh, in my opinion, it's kind of starting to, to push out the, the gulp stuff because this stuff doesn't dry out. It still has the gulp, gulp stuff in it, but it doesn't dry out. Little different formula. Uh, it's, it's got a plastisol mix in there. It's not biodegradable, just like like the the gulp, but it's a lot more functional. And then over here, you got some river to sea. Get your whopper ploppers. Get your little baby whopper ploppers. And then you got some bigger whopper ploppers down there. And then you got some of the the big mistake, the old uh, Chris Lane's baits. And then moving around here, we're getting into the spinner baits. Some more soft plastics. You got the Max spinner baits right there. Max Pro Series. You got the gamakatsu hooks in there. Can't go wrong with that. And then you got all kind of, I mean, this is a huge section of rage tail baits. Strike King, they got rage crawls. Every, basically every rage crawl you could think of, size and color wise, rage chunk, uh, baby menace grub, full size menace grub, cutter worm. Uh, they got the rooster, all the rage stuff right there. And then on the other side from that, you got all kind of Strike King spinner baits. So Strike King is heavy in this area. You get all, all the different kind of spinner baits that you might need. You get Terminator spinner baits right there as well. And then on this side, you're gonna get into the Jackal soft plastics. 
Um, basically, I mean, they've got a hell of a selection of jackal soft plastics. Um, you got some different craws. You got your uh, your flick shakes and your Nico flicks. And you got the rhythm waves. Those have been hot. That I have heard, they've been hot in around this area. And then you got your your KVD Perfect plastics over here on this side. You got that basically finishes out the aisle. I mean, all the different the Ocho. Um, the dream shot, they got a ton of dream shot colors. Bullworm, rodent, got a bunch of different rodent colors. And they got their coffee tubes. They got that coffee scent in there when them bass need to wake up. They can hit that coffee right there. And then uh, and then on this other side, well, we almost passed the Damiki stuff. Uh, they got more, they got a bunch of air crawls and they've got the Damiki shads. Uh, that is definitely a wintertime deal, really neat. I bet these things, these things sit here for about 10 months, and then for two months they can't keep them on the shelf. Uh, just part of the joy of uh, the tackle shop, I'm sure. Then you got your uh, caffeine shads and some of the uh, swim baits that this striking has, the Rage Swimmers, a bunch of them. Those have been pretty hot. Obviously, they've been beat up pretty hard. Shadalicious down there as well. We're just going to keep on rolling. Keep on rolling, man. There's so much stuff in here, it is amazing. Rattle trap stutter step. It's been hot. My boy Mark Daniels Jr. been jerking that thing around. I uh, got a bunch of you know, just some spoons if you need them. Everything from the, the jackal. Uh, this is a new jackal type of spoon. It's almost like a uh, like an old school old school man's bait. But uh, and then you get into more spinner baits. You get my boy Ish and his bling spinner bait series right there. Mullet spinner bait. My boy Akinelli's spinner bait right there. It's pretty neat. They're they're rooming together here on the aisle, uh, very interesting. And then dropping old school over here with some some of the Arbogast, the Jitterbugs, boy, this pond special right there. Devil's Horses, Pop Rs, uh, little wee crawfish, Zero Spooks. They got a, and this is a whole selection right here of Chugging Spooks, One Knocker Spooks, uh, Zero Spooks of, of all shape, size, form, and fashion right there. And then uh, they got Bait Ball, rig over here you got some accent fishing the river special a little river special from up this way old mark dove spinner bait what you know about what you know about spinner bait venom lures has their spinner baits here good selection those look like they've been beat up pretty hard you got hildebrandt old skeeter reese over here the Miki spinner bait you got the new sling blade luke gloss and z-man spinner bait it's a well-built spinner bait got got a few mega bass spinner bait they got a good selection of uh, Booyah Spinnerbait, that's a that's a top seller in most every tackle shop, uh, just because of the price point, and it's a it's a decently made bait. And then you got quite the amphibious section over here. You got frogs and rats, as far as I can see on this side. Everything from the snag proof mullocks, um, river to sea. You got your you, know, you got your spro rats. Those things are pretty wild if you've never fished them. And then you're getting into the the heavy, heavy lifting section over here is the Dean Rojas frogs, all the bronze eyes, the spit shads, bronze eye shad, all the goods. I'm trying, I'm trying to find the one. This is one of my favorites right here. The clear chartreuse. That's a bad boy right there. Water's kind of clear in there on that shad. Where's my old faithful? I don't see it. They must have sold out. I don't see how, I mean, it's, it's hard to beat a straight black frog on, the, on that zoom, on that spray right there. You terminated frogs as well, lunker hunt, and some live target frogs. I mean, frogs all the way up here, but then you get a good section over here of War Eagle spinner baits. I mean, War Eagle makes a ton of different color blade combinations, skirt combinations. They have got a great selection of them here. You get the ones with a ton of flash, and then you get the ones with almost no flash. That mouse, that's a popular one right there. And, uh, and then you got Picasso, you got their newer spinner baits up here. So you got new, old, proven, unproven. Got all kind of optimum baits here as well. Gavacho frog, jackal. We're just gonna keep on rolling, man. We're gonna come around the corner, and all I'm seeing is jigs and bladed jigs. You got DNL tackle right here, a big selection of those. Those are very popular in the Midwest in this part of the country. Uh, they've got all the they got little jigs, they've got bigger flipping jigs. They go in and out of cover pretty well. Got a decent hook in them. And then you got a big selection of dirty jigs, man. I mean, football jigs, swim jigs, that's what they're really known for. They got multiple different types of swim jigs and they got like 30 colors in each 
type of swim jig. So whatever, if you really are a color oriented person, uh, dirty jigs has probably got you covered on that. Plus you got big meat hooks in most of them. And then you got the original, all the original chatterbait stuff here. You got some special, you got some thunder crickets there. You got that melee from Booyah. And then you get into the, the uh, buzz baits over here. Green fish with that hammerhead, that's a good buzz bait right there. And then you got a bunch of Strike King buzz baits, Max series. Then you got your Molex. Man, they got, and then of course Lee Bailey Jr., Cavatron, that's been around forever. Then you got your, your Firecracker from Jackal, got some DM custom stuff. You got the Jacob Wheeler special right there, War Eagle, Booyah. And then you got some of the Picasso stuff, the newer stuff that the the dinner bell has been around a few years, but not every tackle shop has that one. It's a huge package, but it's a good, it's a good bait. And then you just kind of spin around and you can see that there's, after the dirty jigs, there's Buckeye, all kind of Buckeye jigs, Jewel jigs, Net Bait jigs, Max Series, the first series Max jigs, all kind of, all those. And then a ton of Strike King jigs. A hack, I'm seeing it's like a Hack Attack special right here. I guess even some of the Jordan Lee comeback jigs. Some bucktails, a few bucktails here, and then on the other side, other side over here, you got some more some blade baits, more your wintertime kind of stuff right down here. Man, we're not done. We got way more. We got way more stuff to go through. Got some of your big hog farmer stand-up jig heads right there. Uh, got some of your little uh, Z-Man finesse stuff. You got some of your David Walker jigs from from Z-Man as well. Some slither rigs, and then you got all kind of terminal stuff here. Got some of the gambler stuff down here. Um, you have fish head spin, you got some of the underspins, you know, strike king jig heads, stru jointed structure jigs. You got a bunch of different Max. This is what a lot of the uh, a lot of the guys up north they'll throw this this Max Pro Tube jig head. Got a Gamagatsu hook in it. Well made. That's what a lot of guys up north fish that that thing right there. Uh, more swim bait heads over here. More jigs, ter Terminator jigs, Venom jigs, some Gambler jigs. Molex jigs, um, Phil Hunt jigs, PH jigs, Santone, got some Zorro, Booyah, I mean, Nichols jigs, don't want to forget those. You got a heck of a, a selection of VMC on all their swim baits and spin jig heads, swinging rugby heads. Man, I mean, you need it. You can find it in this place for sure. And they got some of the yum. Yum heads, a good, a good selection of Gamagatsu swim bait heads. Those are really stout. Got a great hook in it, obviously. Some more uh, terminal tackle from Gamagatsu, dirty jigs. Got that stand up mega strike head there. More of your missile baits, warlock heads. Got a good good supply of those. Uh, you got some, some more Picasso underspins, terminal stuff, and then you turn around here, and this is the real, real deal on the, on the scourge jigs. Got your mini flips here, which have been beat up pretty hard. And then you got some head bangers, very good. And then you got a big selection of flip outs down there below. And then you got your, your micro jigs. Just because they're down low and they're small doesn't mean they're not mighty. They're micro, but they're still mighty. Catch a ton of fish on them things right there. Um, gonna be doing some smallmouth fishing here pretty soon. May or may not have those tied on. Okay, I do have a tied on. But there we go, Kitek uh, Ki jigs right here. Eco, uh, Eco Pro, Moccasin Lures, man, just tons of Picasso heads over here. We're gonna kind of roll through the uh, terminal tackle. There's just, I mean, a whole row of nothing but terminal tackle. We haven't even gotten to the hard baits. We haven't even gotten there. Uh, but all your all your punch weights, flat out, very good uh, tungsten right there. Uh, you know, Strike King, Eagle Claw, Reigns, and you name it, the good stuff, it's right there. And you got more TRD heads here. You got some Japanese, um, this OMTD. We had a bunch of different stuff from that company, Japanese company. Um, just st stuff you just don't see everywhere. A bunch of Gamakatsu, even saltwater stuff. Uh, swim bait hooks, a huge selection of, of Gamakatsu hooks, including the tournament grade hybrid worm hook from Mike McCullen. He designed that bad boy right there. He said, that is the deal. He said, you need to be fishing it. So I just saw him the last two days. He said, you need to be fishing that thing. You got all your all your wacky saddles and all the uh, all the other you know little things you need, the rigots, you know, to put in front of your uh, put in front of your bobbers. 
put the bobber stops to put in front of your weights, man. That's what those are right there. You got a, a bunch of different ones of those. Up there, you go for uh, six cents. And then you got a good selection of Gamagatsu treble hooks. Uh, got some Hayabusa treble hooks, VMC treble hooks. Got kind of whatever you need. Of course, good, good selection of owner hooks, VMC hooks. <laughs> More Hayabusa worm hooks, trocar hooks, true turn hooks, I mean, you name it. Uh, more understands. Yeah, and then they got all kind of uh, you know skirt material to make your own stuff. You got all kind of powder coat paint to do your own things. You got some uh, some do it molds if guys like to pour their own stuff in the wintertime. It's a lot of fun if you if you have the time. And then we're just gonna keep rolling around here, man. Um, you got a bunch of umbrella rigs right through here. And then we're just gonna roll through this. This is mostly walleye, cold water species. This is uh, and they all these crazy reef runners and stuff like that. That's definitely walleye, walleye material right there. But I don't know about you. I'm glad somebody can, ca can catch the walleye really well because I love to eat the walleye. Walleye tastes fantastic. It's my favorite fish to eat. And I'm glad that they have a bunch of walleye lures so people can catch them and I can eat them. That's how that works. Definitely on a bunch of. Oh, yeah. A bunch of wall, uh, walleye stuff here, and then I want to zip down this this uh, line. And, I mean, look at the sun line here, man. This is a hell of a selection of sun line. FC Sniper's been beat up pretty hard because that is the number one selling sun line out there. Uh, the FC Assassin FC shooter. That's what I love to flip and pitch with, right there. SX1 is it's just a, a very awesome, proven spinning rod braid. PE8, very small, delicate light line. Um, like the 12 pounds pretty much get trashed. And there's only one spool of 16. Uh, that's great for us, 5 8. The X Plasma is arguably the, the most versatile, best new uh, braid I've seen now. Um, that's what I've been using on a lot of my spinning rods for, for base. But um, then you got basically whatever, whatever Seaguar you need, Tatsu, really, really high end, all the way down to your, your Invisex. Bunch of Power Pro, you got your J braid. Samurai braid, you don't see that very often. Uh, you have P line, whatever P line you need. Gamma, really good fluorocarbon. You got your suffix, all kind of different suffix. And then, you, of course, you got all kind of uh, Berkeley line right here. Spider wire on this side. Iser line, haven't seen that in a while. That's that's a uh, tried and true line that's been around a while. And even you got your old school strand mono, one of the most forgiven lines out there. And they're working on some boats over here. You got all kind of accessories here. You got your YOLO stick. You want to film yourself um, on the boat. That is a hell, that's a great way to do it. And you got all you got you know, all your accessories. I'm not going to take too much time there. You got all kind of pan fish and crappie. Crappie also eat very well. Uh, I would definitely spend some time in this area if you would like to catch the fish, clean them, and let me eat them. I will uh, come here and you know, get you all set up. But they get all that for the, for the fish that you like to eat. Even more of it, more of it up there. We're just gonna walk over here. Finally, finally getting to the hard baits. Uh, you got some of the crappy, crappy crank baits and stuff right there. But you got your Booyah one knockers. You got Molex hard baits. All kind of different stuff. Some of that stuff I haven't seen before. Of course, you got Isha's Biggie square bill crank bait. You got the Cotton Cordell old school, old the newer Wiggle warts there. All a bunch of different Arashi Storm baits here. You got your old DD 22s. Now this is what I'm talking about, old school DD-22s right there. They're not old baits, but they've been around for a while. That's all I mean by that. Got a bunch of different Bagley baits, a bunch of six cents baits here, Jackal baits. Um, they, got, they got all kind of different. They got the little risers, smaller risers there. I'm just gonna keep on rolling around. They even have some Guggen baits up in this joint pretty crazy and then you got a bunch of raffle of course you got to have that normar presence you got uh you got all kind of different shad wraps right there i mean some crazy colors i haven't seen before and then uh then you got your floating your old school stuff uh some more of your your walleye type rapalos all type of husky jerks that's a very good jerk, jerk bait been around a while a nice selection of dt series six tens fourteens twenties and then uh and then all more of your more your X wraps, more your wrapple stuff here. And you're gonna spin around and you see nothing but yellow up through there. That's all striking from your KVD jerk bait, your 
KBD, yeah. Sexy Dog, Mega Dog, um, Red Ash Ad, a great selection of Red Ash Ads. Uh, and I'm sure they got the, yep. They got the two tapper as well, and then you got the KBD 1.0 you know, square mills. They got the XD series crankbaits all the way up to the 10 XD. All the way down, man. They got they got all the striking stuff. And then on this side, I just went right past some of it. You got some of the some of the more custom stuff right here. Like, see, this is the pH custom lure, little square bill right here. They got all kind of different pH lures. You got the the plopper as well. Old school, old school baits right there, and then you got a bunch of different duo, including their spy baits. Good little selection of those. Coming down through, you got a bunch of IMA stuff, and then you got a real good selection of Lucky Craft. It's hard to find Lucky Craft anymore. Uh, this is definitely a good selection of Lucky Craft jerk baits and a few crank baits. Harder to find Lucky Craft than a few more Guggen baits. Right here on the end of this end cap, they put it right here, kind of front and center. A good selection of jackhammers. I love that that chatterbait. That is a that is the dealy dealio. You gotta have your storage. You gotta have somewhere to store all this stuff in here. You got old school rattle traps right here. All kinds of uh, old school rattle traps with some newer colors as well. You got the, the Lucky Strike Recline series. You got that Hail Mary. That's kind of a crazy looking deal. It's like a rattle trap, but it's swallowed up in the front. You can throw that thing at a mile and three quarters. You can actually change zip codes with your with your bait when you throw that thing out there. And then you got um, this whole section right here is all Berkeley hard baits. Uh, they've spent a lot of time developing a whole line of hard baits, and they've got damn near all of them right there using David Fritz on some of the crank baits and stuff like that. But then you, over here on this side, you've got you got your bombers and your bandits. You got a good selection of bandit crank baits. Caught a bunch of fish on them back in the day. Got some Yozuri baits right here, and they've already got them. They've already got the, the Spro Spin John 80. This is the uh, spy bait to beat all spy baits right there. What you know about that? I designed that thing. That's crazy. It's awesome. Ruku Shads, a great selection of Spro here. McRips, McSticks, good selection of rock crawlers. You got Russ Lane with his Fat Papa series there, the Square Bills, and the regular ones. And you got this is all, this is all Little Johns and Pat Johns right here, man. This is uh, very humble and very cool to see. Got a good selection of, of the whole lineup, including the clear hook. You know, for you guys that like to, to hand paint your own stuff, we've got Little Johns in straight clear. Very neat. You can either you can do it as ugly as you want to do it, or you can do it as pretty as you want to do it. You can take fingernail polish and put it on there, make it as ugly as you want it, or you can just break out the air gun, get serious about it, and spray it down. Whatever you want to do. You do it on that clear one and you don't have to fight through that that uh, all that other paint that comes on it and then you come around this side the majority of this aisle is mega bass holy smokes everything from their top water baits to their flap slap that's a neat uh neat bait ijack that's a it's a new bait that they've got out uh, some of their other crank baits and then of course you've got a huge selection of 110s everything from your juniors magnums um, and then you got the silent series over here. All these are silent ones. You got you got the Rick Klein Lobina Lures, Ricos. It's been around for a long time. Good selection of the Ricos. I'd, heart, I'd beg to differ. Is a better popper out there. KJ Crankbait's a Hara Japanese Japanese deal there. Pretty cool. Um, what else we got? Oh, we got Evergreen baits here. You got the Shower Blues. All kind of different colors of those, and you some of their evergreen crankbaits. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not wore out because I'm looking official tackle, but wow! All, all your accessories that you need for your for your rods. We're gonna come up here and finish up. We finish up. We got all the little accessories you need. All look at all these different scents, man. They got smelly jelly. They've got bang. They've got uh, gulp, mega strike, liquid mayhem. More smelly jelly, bait wax. Uh, I mean, smelly jelly liquid. They don't play, man. They don't play around here. And even more, uh, all of your accessories that you might need for for uh, for your spike it to dip all your soft plastics in. But man, what an unbelievable store they have here, Fisherman Central. If you're ever in the Akron area of Ohio, you better slip yourself on down here. 
I mean, it might even be worth its own trip just to come here if you are a bait guru or if you need to stock up if you want to stock up. Fisherman Central, unbelievable tackle shop. Hope you enjoyed that tackle shop tour.